So I became a dad for the first time this year and I had to concentrate a little bit more on my full-time job because you know, you've got to support the family. So this has left me with even less time to concentrate on producing content for my blogs. So I was thinking like, how can I get more blog posts and pretty much do it without more effort? And that got me thinking about all that content I have sitting on my YouTube channels. Is there a way that I could turn those videos into articles that might actually rank on Google? Well, this is the system I came up with. So if you're in the same situation as me and you've been grinding it out on a YouTube channel, you've got plenty of videos, then you can definitely try this and produce those SEO articles for Google ranking, or maybe just something for sharing on social media. All of this is content you've already worked on and you can definitely repurpose it. So with anything, there's always the free method and the paid method. So the free method of this is basically to watch your videos again and just to write down everything that you say in them so that you can use that to produce another article. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now, I don't have time to do that, so I'm gonna to have to use the paid method. And the number one tool I'm gonna to recommend here is something called Descript. Now, if you're not using Descript, you should be using Descript. It's literally the only reason I started this YouTube channel again, because it just cuts down the time for editing. So another cool little feature about Descript is if you put in an audio file or video file, it will transcribe everything that's said. And that's gonna work really well for this project. But the one thing I have noticed about Descript is it doesn't always pick up certain accents. So it's really kind of like any of these tools, it's gauged towards the American market. So if you speak American English with an American accent, you probably won't have any difficulties. But if you speak with any other accent, then you're gonna to have to edit a little bit more. English, mother do you speak it? Another tool that you might wanna to use to do this to, to cut down how much time you have to spend doing it is something like Jasper, some AI writing tool. This is gonna help you rephrase things, maybe sort of add a bit more detail, and uh, it's really gonna cut down the time here. The other thing I'm gonna suggest is using something called Browser AI. Now, Browser AI is a cool little bit of software which basically helps you train these little robots which will go and get information. It's basically a scraping tool. But one of the cool features that I discovered was the fact that you can scrape all of the information from a YouTube channel. Now, there's a story behind this. About a year ago, when I was working on the arts grind with my colleague, Michael, we decided to do something that we should have done from the start, basically an industry audit. So what we did was we got all the information from all the other channels in the niche, and we sat down and we figured out what the most popular videos were, the themes and all that sort of thing. To do that, I spent about a week teaching myself how to use Python to code a scraper to get all that information. Since then, I kind of forgot how I did it, and that's why I'm using Browser AI. And if you're interested in any of these tools, then check out the links in the description and they'll send you to all the right places. Okay, so let's go through an example here. So if I look at this YouTube channel, it's called The Arts Grind. It's one that I was working on for nearly two years. We've kind of abandoned this now because we're both burned out on the arts niche. Michael went back to the States, but I still think we've got a lot of content here that we might be able to use. So looking at the kind of videos that I want, there's a few different formats that we used here. We had certain videos where it was uh, Michael and I on screen together. So it's a conversation. I'm not sure if this is going to be the easiest type of video to turn into a blog post. We could definitely use it. I'll talk about a way that we might use a video like this later. So this might not be the right type of video. So then another type of video, and this is actually the top performing video on this particular channel, where it's just me talking and at parts talking to myself, which is a bit embarrassing, kind of cringing watching this now. But this is kind of the perfect type of video for this method because it's one speaker, it's very much information based. I think this is gonna work quite well. So we used to do these live streams where we would correct people's writing or speaking. I don't think this is gonna translate that well into a blog post. It could happen, but it's a bit more effort. So what you're gonna do is choose the right video and ideally, if it's your video, you should have the video or audio somewhere. But if you don't, what you could do is get all of that information by using Browse AI. So what I'm gonna do is go to my channel here. I'm gonna to go to videos. So I'm gonna grab this particular URL, the artsgrind slash videos, and I'm gonna jump into 
browse AI. What I'm going to do is browse the pre-built robots here. And if we go down, we should find something, extract videos from YouTube channel. I go there and all I need is the channel URL um, and the maximum videos. So if I do this, with the magic of YouTube, it should be done by the time I finish. Okay, at this point I can then just integrate, I can choose to create a Google Sheet here and then just run this robot. And if we jump to the Google Sheets now, we can see I should have all the information I want. So I've got uh, the title, the amount of views, and I've got the link here. So I can arrange this any way I want. I'm really gonna target the ones with the most views because to me that means it's videos that people were most interested in. And if you can't find the audio from your original video, um, you really should be working with your own channels here and not scraping other people's channels. But what you can do is just copy this and you can jump over to a bit of software, something like Y2Mate, where you can chuck in the URL and you can choose to download the video or the audio. You only need the audio really for this. Then all you do is you put in the actual file and uh, you can just click done here. And after a little while, Descript is gonna transcribe this for you. So a cool little feature that you can use is because I'm not a very good speaker, I can actually click and remove all of the filler words here. So this is the kind of stuff I probably didn't want in the original video and you definitely don't want this in a text. So I can literally just click on it and I can just go through and get rid of all those. And there's a lot. Wow, I really didn't edit this well when I originally put it up. And I'm done. So then I can go and just take this over and I can jump onto my site directly. I can add a post. You can see I've got no posts on the iartsgrind.com. And this is really why I'm making the video. So I could literally just start there and work through that way. Or I can put it into Jasper and I can work on it here and try and tidy it up and you know, just ba basically make it into what I want it to be. So obviously this is a method that I think is gonna work for me, but is it gonna work for you guys? I think this is gonna be great for kind of um, the information-based type channels. So if you're talking to someone a bit like this channel, where you've got lots of information you're trying to share, it's probably gonna work quite well for a blog. Now, how am I gonna use this? So I could just grab the actual video, I could go over to my post and I could just input the video and I could treat this as just a basic subtitles. It's a transcript of what I've said in the video and I can then link back to this from the YouTube channel. That might be quite useful for my users because English is not their first language. Of course, the best thing to do would to go through this and try and turn it into an SEO optimized article. Now, if you want to do this yourself, obviously you've got all the information um, all the research that you did for your video and you've just got to make it a little bit more uh, blog friendly. You can also give this information to one of your writers and have them do it because you've done the hard work, you've done all the research. Another interesting idea would be to take your entire YouTube channel and the videos that make sense. In, you could turn it into an ebook. And that could be a nice little lead magnet or something to give away to your users to build up an email list. Something else you could do is to take the raw text like this and give it to a writer or someone from Fiverr, especially if it's got lots of stats and juicy kind of facts. And you could turn all of this into like an infographic, which you could then be using on your blog. And that could eventually build you backlinks because people might want to use it and link back to you. Another cool little thing you could do is for a kind of channel that has a lots of stats and information like that, you could condense all of that down into some pretty good linkable assets. So if you've got really nice stats that are presented well, and it's a lot of your own uh, original research, you could definitely use this method to do, turn that into a nice little article that's gonna get you links. Another interesting idea might be to take what you've got as a transcript here and have someone translate it into another language. And then you can start sort of accessing more of an audience. Now, I know that uh, Google does translate a lot of stuff, but they're not always perfect. And if you get a real native speaker who speaks English as well, 
then you could be onto a winner. So this is what I've been thinking. Um, I don't know if this is a, a good use of my time, but I know that Michael and I, particularly for the arts grind, we spent a lot of time on that channel. There's a lot of good information there. And um, I think it could generate a bit of traffic for the site. If you don't want to actually buy all these tools and you don't have time to do it yourself, well, here's an offer. How about you pay me for my time and I do it for you? If you're interested in getting access to any of those tools and getting transcripts like this of your videos, just send an email. Uh, you can find it in the link. It's always there at the bottom. And uh, let's get in touch and we'll talk about that. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a like.